Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we have a Bakugan unboxing and this one's a particularly special one just because it's rare to get a starter set. They don't really sell starter sets out there so to actually find one is definitely fantastic especially for a unique one as well. And this is the one Bakugan product I would actually recommend buying even at full price. Like I usually encourage you to buy Bakugan products when they're on sale, when they're on discount when there's a particular bargain that can be had but with that being said starter packs or starter sets in particular are the most valuable because you actually get a 40 card deck in this as well meaning it's ready to play in a professional standpoint and you also get your three back gun as usual as well so yeah really awesome and it's interesting that this is a secret of geogun one as well because this is relatively old we have bakugan evolutions and we even are up to bakugan legends now so we are at least two seasons behind in terms of this product but it isn't an easy product i don't know about other countries out there because i'm obviously not here in the us so with that being said, it is uh, quite interesting to see uh, what is actually going to be in this particular deck itself because there are 40 cards to actually see here. Uh, but yeah, this is always a really fun treat to uh, open up. So I'm just going to get this opened up here by removing the tape and we'll see what's actually inside. Alright, now by now you guys probably already know that I've always criticized the packaging of Bakugan but this is the one exception where I actually think the packaging is pretty well done. I mean it's really well designed, it's a nice box, you could honestly just use the box itself to store your Bakugan uh, without having to actually buy the expensive boxes out there because let's face it, it's just another expensive piece of plastic that you're using to keep all of your Bakugan in. Uh, so yeah this is definitely really nice just to be reused again um, and the inside could easily just be uh, thrown out but I like that the circular Bakugan can easily just be popped out and uh, there's just one main ultra Bakugan being held in uh, in its place there but uh, with that being said this is what we have over here so We'll actually get to our Bakugan later, we're just going to see uh, what we actually have here. We do have our six cores, um, so we have uh, two green fists, uh, a fire fist, we have uh, two regular shields and one magic shield. Uh, very nice there, so for our magic shield we have a minus 400, uh, we have a plus 100 B power, uh, we have some plus 400s here for uh, the regular shield we have a plus five damage and we also have a plus two damage so uh, use that however you want but uh, with that being said let's put that aside and I'm gonna try and open up the cards here and see what's actually inside so oh, that was really easy to open up so we we'll just slip it open and let's find out uh, what's actually to be hold in this particular one. So here's our deck, our 40 card deck. Uh, we have our Bakugan here, we'll get to later. And we have a few other things as well, really interesting. Seems like Spin Master is now with this uh, very interesting uh, customer care thing. I mean, that's pretty awesome. So uh, with that being said, uh, this is something for you guys to keep in mind of. Uh, though it doesn't seem to be specific to America, which is uh, where most of you guys might be, but uh, you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, just an open option there available. Uh, similar case, we do have this here just to teach you how to open our Fenica Ultra, uh, but it's just uh, an extra booklet, really. And we have our rule book, which is always really nice because the uh, actual game itself does have more complex rules than the others but uh, we do have our cards we have our Pincitor which is our Ventus one we have our Fenica Ultra in Pyrus and we have our Dragonoid which is our Chaos which is definitely fantastic so I also really love the stats on all of these as well 600 B power 4 damage 500 B power 5 damage 700 B power 1 damage all of them have really nice balances between their stats 
and uh, given their back of course that they're also linked to as well uh, they again just provide something that's really uh, well thought out well designed so I'm definitely liking how each back of gun here is uh, definitely a lot more impressive in terms of their um, stats that they've been given you know you could actually uh, find them playable to be honest you know so yeah let's take a look now and see our first back of gun which is Fenica I actually really like it it looks really cute there uh, you could actually see that these things are the giant ears on the Fenica so yeah it's really interesting to see this kind of design you know you don't actually think that it's just this little body that's an actual back gun itself and the rest is as is so yeah that's really interesting on how they actually do that um, it is going to be really interesting figuring out how to actually close this up but it does already seem like uh, it's pretty self-explanatory there um, let's see here Oh, there you go. That's pretty easy. It really just closes up like a ball. Um, and that's the design from the outside. Very nice here. You can see the Pyrus symbol right there. But let's set that aside and let's see what we have our pincer tour as here. So let's open that up. And over here is our pincer tour. Very interesting design. Um, I believe we can open up the legs as well. And that would really accentuate the actual looks of the actual back gun itself so there we go um, not much of a scorpion look to it um, at least in my opinion but uh, definitely still something that is really cool to behold as well uh, simply close up the legs like so and it doesn't look too bad to actually close up on uh, so the tail will have to go in first and then uh, the two uh, pincers uh, would actually close up just on top like so uh, really giant pincers that is uh, and then we have over here our dragonoid as well very nice always uh, fun to see a new design for dragonoid here yeah, so yeah it's definitely very nice and this one is a Haos dragonoid so that is definitely fantastic so yeah I like it as the tail coming out at the back here we have the wings and we have the actual arms as well which uh, might be adjustable in some sort of way uh, yeah it does seem like the arms are adjustable so it's a very nice here uh, but with that being said to close it up uh, it would mainly be just uh, yeah closing it up as well actually all of these have actually been really easy to close up so they're definitely really improving on the actual build quality of the actual backbone themselves as well very impressed about that however with that being said let's now take a look at the actual deck itself so over here should be a little tab that we can actually uh pry open all right so that was a bit of a challenge but i did manage to find uh, the actual tab here uh, there's really just this golden line across so you all you have to really do is just take a look around there but uh, with that being said let's get everything else all this packaging uh, all this plastic and let's see what the cards actually have here so we are starting off with our electric how uh, very interesting uh, we have our silk bolt barrier two copies of that we have over here our Holt Outsiders, very nice. Uh, we have Ray of Pyrus, two copies of that. We have uh, Swift Flame, two copies of that. Another Electric Howl, which is very nice. Another Pyrus Strike, uh, two Searing Strikes. We have two Pyrus Overload. We have over here two Fuel the Flames. We have two of our Fusion Super Saw. Uh, a Pyro Strike, we have Sonic Stream, two copies of that, two copies of Feather Wall, we have an, uh, another Bakugan Supercharge, G Force Drop, two Turn to Energy, two Ventus Fortitude, always on offense, we have Boulder Block, Strata the Hunter, Ventus Earthbreaker, G Force Drop, Ventus Aerial Kick, two of those. And we have two Burning Bash and one Burn Breath. 
very interesting i am actually really loving the actual design of all this uh yeah it's going to be really fun to actually play this particular deck here it seems like we're also getting a lot of merged cards as well like this one is part fire or part pyrus part ventus uh, so seeing this merging of uh, different attributes is definitely what makes it more interesting and the compatibility uh, really just makes the, an easier flow within the game itself, within the actual gameplay. So I am definitely really impressed and considering that this is Geogun Rising, which is only Season 3 and we still have Evolutions and Legends that come after that, I'm really excited to see how far Bakugan has actually taken uh, the game because I am a little bit out of touch and haven't been able to keep up as up to date as uh, what we're supposed to be at right now. However, with that being said, do leave me your thoughts as to what you thought about this particular product. But with that being said, thank you for joining me today. I hope to see you again in the next video.